Hey, in the last video, we saw how to create a context menu. And in this video, I'm going to show you how to add functionality to your menu items. Uh, as of now, clicking on the view or the delete items does not have any effect. That's because we have not specified any actions for the menu items. Let's go ahead and get it working. Let's go back to code. And now we're going to override another method I'm going to show you, go to source and override implement methods and under the activity you can find on context item selected. Select this and click OK. So this is the method that we're going to use. The first item we are interested in is the position of the list item that was long pressed. So now we are going to get the position first. We are going to call item dot get menu info, and there is an, a special kind of menu information that you can use to obtain the position. You can do that by call, using the adapter context menu info, and menu menu info is equal to item dot get menu info and we're going to typecast this so we have the menu info next we can find the position of the menu of the item that was clicked from the menu info to do that I'm going to call menu info dot position so that gives us the position I'm going to assign it to a variable this integer value will hold the position of the list item that was long pressed the next thing we have to do is to identify which item was selected. So we're going to get the ID of that item and do the appropriate action. So we're going to use the switch statement item dot get item ID. So this will give us the item ID. We're going to find out if the ID is view or we're going to find out if the ID is delete. When do we use return true? You have to return true. That's because you're telling Android that you have taken care of the menu item. So I'm also going to return true for view option. The first thing we are going to do now is we're going to show a toast when the user selects, it, selects the view option. We're going to show the name of the book as well as the author of the book. That's why we need a book instance. So let's go ahead and get the adapter, get list adapter. So that will return as the book adapter. We're going to typecast it. And from the adapter, we're going to get an item from the corresponding position. So that will give us the book which is backing the list item and we're going to use toast dot make text the context is going to be the current activity and the text I'm going to just call the book dot to string method so it just prints out the book's name as well as the author toast dot length long and I'm going to change this with the show call that's it and delete option we're going to do this in the next video because it involves different concepts that's it so now we have obtained a menu info from the on context item selected method and from the menu info we get the position and based on the item that was selected we do the appropriate action and return true once we are done that's the idea. Let's go ahead and run this application. I have the emulator. Yep, it's ready. So let's long press on any of the items and we get the view. Get the options. Let me click on view. And here you go, you have a toast with the title and the author name. Let's do it once again. That's it.
and when you try to click on delete nothing will happen that's because we have not written any code for that I'll teach you how to do that in the next video that's very simple what you have to do is you have to overwrite the on context item selected method from your activity and then get the menu info from the menu item and finally based on the item ID which you can obtain from the item itself you do the appropriate action that's it that's very simple that's how you add functionality to your context menu items in Android if you have any questions please feel free to ask thank you